Hey guys, this is the new uh, XEM Access Controller. Uh, it has a few features that I think are very interesting and are um, improvements over the previous Access Controller. That's uh, namely that there is an onboard relay on this uh, control board here that you can actually set a timer for using jumpers so that it's active between one second or five seconds. The other interesting feature is that you can also set master tags. So you, you, you can basically use a jumper here to program your own master tags. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. So we're going to go ahead and change the jumper. This, uh, there's two jumpers here, S1 and 2. S1 controls the timing of the relay and S2 controls programming. So we're going to set S2. Okay, and with that jumper set, we're going to power on. And you can see the LEDs are blinking um, alternately. So green, red, green, red, green, red. Now what it's wanting to do is scan two tags. So I have two key fobs here. I've marked them A for add and C for clear. So the first tag to scan is the add tag. So now this tag is the add master tag. The clear tag comes next. You can see it's blinking uh, you know, in unison. So the clear tag comes next and it moves to red. That means programming is complete and you can power off so the next step is you put the jumper back into normal operating mode and power up. Now you can add and clear tags. So I'm going to add the implant in my hand. So I scan the add tag, my implant, and then the add tag again. And you can see we're back to normal operating mode. Now, if I scan my implant, this door strike should activate. Uh, I'm not sure which is set for one second or five seconds, so we'll find out. So I'll scan my tag. Okay, it's set for five seconds. So you can see I can open the door for five seconds, then it's back to normal. Uh, if I want to change the operating time, I don't have to power down. I just m move the jumper. Now you can see it's only activating for a single second. Um, that, that operating mode is actually uh, a good idea for things like emulating button presses or interacting with other systems. For example, a garage door opener scenario, you can emulate a button press with a relay uh, and you only need one second to do that. You don't need it to sit there for five seconds um, and keep pressing the button. So now let's say I want to remove my implant from the system. So I use the clear, scan clear, blinks red scan my implant and then clear again. And now you can see if I present, I get three beeps. It means not authorized. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the wiring harness and how the relay works. So you'll see this wiring harness here, this is J1, and there are six wires. So the black and red are negative, you know, ground and positive, of course, that's uh, operating between nine and 12 volts. Then the next uh, three wires are the relay wires. And you have white is the common wire, which is the, uh, the common pin between the normally closed and normally open pins. Uh, yellow is the normally open pin, uh, which means that when you're not having an active tag being scanned and the relay is not activated, that, uh, that connection between white and yellow is normally open. Um, the green wire is the normally closed. So this, um, this wire is, when, when there's no uh, active tag, this wire and the white wire are shorted together. Uh, when you activate, of course, then that flips. Uh, when the, the relay is active, then the white and yellow are shorted together, and the white and green become disconnected. Um, the blue wire here is an interesting one. It is probably not something you'll use very commonly, but it is called the emergency exit wire, and so or just the exit wire. So in an access control scenario, when this board is used, in like office setting or something like that, there are certain mechanics for different types of door locks that require uh, the door to be unlocked to leave, to egress. So this is the egress or exit wire. And what you do is if you um, connect this to the common, if you tap it to the common, it activates for however long the, the relay is set to activate for. So this would be normally attached to an exit button you press and then the door releases so you can exit the, the building from the inside. So um, again, we probably won't use that wire, but that's what it's for. So that is the new XCM Access Controller version two. And I think the next video is going to be about how to set up your garage door to open with the new XCM Access Controller.